Yo, yo, what's goody guys? It's Jay Pluto here. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I greatly appreciate it. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Z game editor inside FL Studio. Let's just jump right into it. We're talking about visualizers, beat videos, like for YouTube and stuff like that, Instagram, social media and stuff like that. So you may have known or you may have heard that you can do this all in FL Studios. And if you haven't, yes, you can do this all in FL Studios. And so in this video, we're gonna be going through how to make something dope out of this inside of FL Studios. And I mean, straightforward. I'm not gonna take up too much of your time, so let's just jump right into it. So this is my project loaded up. So there's two ways you can go about this. Like the first way that I'm about to do is if you just have the beat by itself, the exported beat, and you so all the elements are like together, it's the MP3 file, and we're gonna use that to make reactions and stuff with the video. The other way that we're gonna do it is to separate it by tracks and have different tracks do different effects for different effects. Yeah, this is my beat I got loaded up. Yeah, so that's the beat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my mixer channel and I'm gonna go to, let's say insert one for right now and I'm gonna go to, I believe is ZZ Game Editor, Z Game Editor Visualizer, this one right here. And at first it might look a little intimidating even though it's not a lot of things there. It just looks, I mean, even still looks like a, a little outdated and stuff like that. So the first thing you wanna do is just take a look around what's going on. Um, this wizard button up here, this like generates automatic um, visualizers for you. So you can go through these different templates and stuff like that. You can put the text in there and tweak it and stuff like that. All right, so that's, oh, well, that's the third way actually that you can do it. So this is how it looks when you first open it up. And what you wanna do is kind of get an idea of what you wanna go for. Uh, so with anything that I do is like I, I try to have an idea or a game plan of what I'm the end goal of what I'm trying to reach So with that being said, let's say I felt like this was a, a Duke deuce type B alright, so I'm gonna go find a picture of them type B picture of them when I, I feel like works with the song I mean the vibe of the song or whatever and I'm gonna download it. And what you do once you have that image, you're gonna go in here and add content, all right? And this is where you add in your media files. So if I, if I wanna go in and add in a picture, I'm gonna hit add picture. Um, take this in real quick. Go to my picture. All right, so now it has imported this image into this plugin. And you can also add videos, webcam, different stuff, you know what I mean? So for right now, we just wanna keep it simple and straightforward, so we're just gonna add a picture. So I'm gonna go back to main, and I'm going to hit this, uh, sorry, I'm gonna hit this down arrow, and I'm going to go to image effects, and I'm gonna to go to image. Right here where it says image SRC, I'm gonna click on the down arrow and I'm gonna click on my image that I imported. All right, so this is my image. Now, the next thing I wanna speak about real quick is the ratio and basically this is gonna be the size of the video when it's exported. Um, I don't wanna to get too deep into it and take up too much time, but you can always go on Google and you can type in ratios. Instagram ratios, YouTube video ratios, uh, whatever, uh, website banner ratios. Like this is just information that you should just learn and pick up on, you know what I mean? So for right now we got uh, 16, 16 to nine, which is for YouTube. So this is basically widescreen. And these others are kind of like boxes and I mean, taller boxes, rectangle, ver like vertical boxes and stuff like that. So for right now, we're gonna go with 16 to nine. And what we're gonna do is I wanna use this as like a background. I don't want this to be the, the forefront picture. I wanna use this as a background. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch it out. Okay, that's cool. So now it's the complete width and height, width and height of the video. All right, so now what I wanna do now is add like a soft blur on top of it. So I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna click add this little uh, arrow, this little cross right here, plus sign. Uh, you click on that, it's gonna give you another layer. So you click on this other down arrow and you wanna go to, where was it? Blur, Uling Blur. So that is under post process. All right, and so what I'm gonna do is just bring this amount down some. Round it off a little bit. All right, cool. So this is gonna be my background image. Now the next thing I wanna do is add my foreground image, which is gonna be the same image for right now. But if you wanted to, these can be two separate images that you're using. But for right now, I'm just using one image. So I'm gonna add another layer, click on this arrow, post process, no, I'm sorry, um, image effects, image, image SRC, and then go to the image. All right, cool. Now you're starting to get the idea of where I'm going with this. All right, so it's perfectly uh, fine with the size it is right now as far as the shape of the picture because it's uh it's like an instagram vertical i guess that's portrait size um so it's it's the height of the video if that's not the case for you you can always change these these parameters right here if this size is all the way up and it's not good enough you can change the width and height parameters here now we're starting to get somewhere that's cool the way it is right now but we can go a little bit further Let's say I wanted to add some more layers to this. So I'm gonna add something else in between this front image and this back image. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a new layer and I'm going to click on this arrow right here and I'm going to hit move to the left or shift left. So I wanna put this in between my background image and my foreground image. And what I'm going to do with this one, this is nine, do that to the left, okay. So I'm gonna go in here, post process, and I'm going to go to some effects. Um, actually, I wanna go with particles. All right, so I'm gonna go with color blobs. So now this has this animation going on in the background and then you can tweak it. Let's just say I just wanted it to be white. That's the saturation. You can also like change the hue of the colors. All right, but what I'm going for right now, I want it to be white, white blobs, white light blobs, all right? So you can change the size of it. So if you want it to be more just of a, a lighting effect, that's how you would go about that. If you wanted them to be more in it like that, I mean, you just switch up the size. Go back up in here. I wanna go to post process and I wanna go to audio shape. Now, it's pretty self-explanatory what this is about to do. It's going to take the audio and make the video shape. Simple. All right, so in this, in this, this, uh, this way that we're doing it, it's going to be applied on the whole beat. And so in the next, the next way I'm gonna show you, you can separate it into the track. Let's say you just wanted the 808 or the kick to be reacted when the video is playing, when the kick is in, the video reacts to it. To save yourself some time, if you're just doing an MP3, you can just throw this all on the master bus, all right? So for right now, I'm just gonna throw this in a track so that's track two. You have to side chain or, or send the track into that track. I mean, basically make it a bus track and it will pick it up basically as like a side side chain kind of thing. All right, so I'm gonna click on my track bow and it's gonna react to the track.
Alright, cool. We got something that looks solid. We're figuring things out. This is good. Alright, so I just want to add one more thing on it, and that's going to be a camera shake. So I'm going to go up in here and post process. I added a new track. Go up here and post process. And then you're going to go to Uline Handheld. Now with this, because it is moving, you might want to make your image a little bit bigger so that it doesn't leave any weird spaces that's not being filled because the video is being moved. So in order to do that, we're just going to hit zoom in. I mean, simple. If you're that far in, you don't have no problems at all. But usually it's just like a little tad, like literally like a pinch, like two or three pinches. That's all you need. You can change how much it shakes and all that, the amount it shakes, how the smoothness and all that. It can go crazy, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's good enough. <laughs> That's it, that's pretty much it. Like you could do some cool things that like you could probably throw some um, film grain or some film film burn uh, videos behind his videos and, and replace and replace that, the light blobs. I mean, it's mad things you can do with this, but this is the starting point. This is it, this is how you do it and understand it. It's pretty straightforward, it's pretty simple. Sometimes it just takes somebody to show you how to do that. I mean, so let's check out the other uh, the other method real quick it's the same thing we want to keep the same thing but i'm just going to split it out into um tracks all right nothing crazy all right so what i want to do let's say i wanted to separate have my video separated the effect separated by reactions to different elements within my track all right so i'm gonna put all my tracks into my mixer and just for sake of time i'm just gonna use one example and that's gonna be the 808 so i'm gonna take this 808 track and i'm going to side chain it to this track well not side chain i'm gonna send it into this track well wrong track send it into this track which has our visualizer and then it's on track 10. So in our visualizer, we should be able to change that insert to track 10. Spins 808. So now it's reacting to the So now you can go in, you can add another layer in and have a camera shake and that's just for the snare. So it's only gonna pop in when the snare's come in. Like it's already hitting when it ate away and then it's gonna do another hit, another camera shake when the snare come in. So you can get very creative with this. All right, so really simple, is really straightforward. Uh, you just hit this export video button, I mean, and of course you can change it if you want to mess around with these different settings. Make sure that's straight, make sure the name is straight. Here's where you put and where you want it to save at. I mean, you put the name in. Wow, okay. And then you don't touch anything else. I mean, you don't need to touch anything else in here as far as in general. Generally speaking, you don't have to touch anything else out there. Just hit start and you good. It's pretty simple, straightforward. If you have any questions, I mean, definitely hit me up. If you have any ideas for videos or something that you're trying to figure out, let me know, I might make a video for it. Thank you for tuning in. Let's 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 keep it going, man. Until next time I see you guys.